Hey there everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Up next, we've got MGM's epic adaptation of a much-loved novel about life in the South before and after the Civil War. From 1957, it's Raintree County. When Ross Lockeridge Jr.'s novel was published in 1948, MGM stepped up and bought the film rights with the intent of turning it into a movie immediately. But then tragically, Lockeridge, the novelist, took his own life and the studio put the project aside for nearly 10 years. But once MGM put the picture back into production, the studio threw everything it had at it, including a great deal of money and an impressive cast, including Montgomery Clift, Elizabeth Taylor, Lee Marvin, Rod Taylor, and even Marie Saint. Despite the ambitious scope and budget of the production, it may be best remembered today not for what took place in front of the camera, but for what happened behind the scenes. The two stars, Montgomery Clift and Elizabeth Taylor, were close friends, and while this movie was in production, Clift attended a party at Taylor's home. After leaving the party, Clift was involved in a very serious car accident that nearly killed him. Taylor herself administered first aid to Clift at the scene. Production had to be shut down for eight weeks. Cliff's face had been ravaged by the accident. He had a broken jaw, a broken nose, missing teeth. But this was Hollywood, and the show must go on. Surgeons patched Cliff up, and the production pushed ahead. But as you're watching, look for close-ups that seem to favor the right side of Montgomery Cliff's face. The left side still showed effects of his injuries. MGM wanted this big, lavish production to be another Gone with the Wind. They did not succeed, but the studio still created an interesting, complicated film that's well worth knowing. From 1957, here's Raintree County. 